Thank you, Madam President. Uh, earlier this session, I introduced a guest in the gallery, and I have a bill on my desk for co-sponsorship that she actually brought to my attention. She is a freshman high school student at International Academy in my district, and wanted to talk a little bit about the bill that she brought to my office. A 2021 study by the Ecological Society of America found that from 1900 to 1950, no microplastics were detected in any fish. But in 2018, yellow perch, for example, was found to have eight pieces of plastic per fish on average. These plastics end up in our water, in the fish, in the products that we make with water, like Michigan's craft beer, and the fish that end up on our tables, and ultimately in our bodies. And the long-term effects of these harmful plastics are yet unknown. In a study released just this week, scientists found that infants' bodies contain up to 10 times the amount of microplastics typically found in adults. Tackling this issue is a tremendous challenge. But the bill that I have on my desk today provides a common sense way to eliminate one source of this harmful waste. The bill concept was brought to me by Nisha Singhi, a high school freshman at International Academy. Earlier this year, Nisha worked with two graduate students at the University of Michigan School for Environment and Sustainability to develop this concept. And a few months ago, Nisha's dad reached out to our office to help schedule a meeting, and Nisha brilliantly presented her idea. Today, I welcome your co-sponsorship on a bill that would prohibit the release of balloons, and here's why. Since 2016, more than 18,000 pieces of balloon debris have been found in the Great Lakes. Adding intentional balloon release to the current littering statute is a major step in our shared goal of conserving and protecting Michigan's Great Lakes and wildlife. Multiple states, including Florida, California, Connecticut, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia, have already passed laws prohibiting the release of balloons. Eight other states are also currently considering similar bans. This bill would not apply to hot air balloons or balloons released for scientific or meteorological purposes, nor would it prohibit residents from displaying balloons outdoors, so long as those balloons are not released. I welcome your co-sponsorship, and I'm so proud to be here today to forward this bill on behalf of a fre high school freshman that has a very, very bright future in our state. And I'd like my remarks printed in the journal.